But yeah, we have a bunch of, uh, a bunch of creatures in it. Yeah, animal storage, so yeah, just, uh, quick... No, 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 do not quick trade. Uh, select all... How do I move these guys? Oh, I think, yeah, I think because one of them is already moved. Yeah, there you go. So now I can send a zoo, because one of them was already going, so I guess it was conflicting with that, so. There you go, so all those are going over there, so that's good. And uh, I assume they're fine. But let, let's go over here to the exhibits, and let, yeah, let's continue looking at the exhibit creatures. So I was looking at a scorpion earlier, wasn't I? Oh, yeah, we have a lot of bow constrictors now. We only had one before. Oh, what? I wasn't even looking at the bow constrictor we had over here. Like, what is this guy? Is he good? Is he bad? I didn't look at, like, any of his stats. Yeah, longevity at 50%, fertility at 66. That's not bad. Well, let's go to exhibit trading and let's look at the other ones that we could potentially... Oh, gosh. Yeah, we can get a big old beetle or something like that. Yeah, I don't want to get another snake. If we do get another snake, I want to get it as, like, the same species and stuff and just put it in the same enclosure. Ooh, it's uh, poison dart frogs. Or just poison frog. Lemon poison frog. Let's see which one, uh... I guess we can just get this one, yeah. Silver rating. Yeah, I really don't know why the bronze rating has a higher number, though, than the silver. Very weird. Anyways, uh, let's see. Yeah, this one is worse longevity. This one has pretty good longevity, pretty good fertility, so let's get this one. Put this frog over here, because we don't have a frog. We don't have a beetle. Yeah, might want to get the beetle. We don't have a scorpion. Let's actually look at the other creatures, though, before we uh, jump ahead of our... Yeah, we don't... Well, we have a... We have a little poison frog, but we don't have a goliath frog. I don't want to get two frogs. So, yeah, since we have the poison little dart frog thing, I don't want to get a goliath frog. But, uh, beetle... Oh, we can get a goliath beetle, or... What was the other beetle? Uh, Titan Beetle, ooh. I don't know which one's better. 1500 rating for the Titan Beetle. What's the rating on the other one over here? 1575 for the Goliath Beetle, ooh. And we get the male and female as a pair. Uh, well, the longevity, fertility for those are not too good. Let's go back to the Titan Beetle. Pretty good longevity there. Oh, God, that's trash. Oh, yeah, this one's a pretty good one right here, you guys. Yeah, this one's got the silver rating. Yeah, let's get this one. This one seems pretty good. 67% for both uh, fertility and longevity, so send a zoo. Oh, 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 uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, put it right there. We need to, l let's pause. We need to look at the, where is it? The, uh, what is it called? Zoopedia thing. We need, we need to get the humidity and the temperature and all that kind of jazz. I keep forgetting that. So we could, we could do about 30 degrees Celsius and 50 degree, or 50% humidity for the beetle. So let's do that. So what was it? 30? and 50% humidity, and he'll be fine. Let's, let's make sure the, uh, the frog over here is good. I think it might be complaining. Yeah, it's definitely complaining right there, so let's, uh, let's go to Zoopedia entry for you. I think it's on, uh, there it is right there. So 28 degrees Celsius and, oh man, 85% uh, percent humidity right there. Yeah, really humid climate for this guy. So what was it, 28? And that should be fine. That's like smack in the middle right there and 90, or 85 or 90, I forget. I think it was 85, so there we go. And that should be good for these guys right there, so that's good. So we have a snake over here, or bow constrictor to be more precise. Dart frog right there, and we have a titan beetle right there. What are we going to put in this last exhibit, though? What 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 type of creature do we not have? We already have a spider, we already have a... a what's that thing called again? Iguana? We already have a frog, we have... Uh, oh, we have a spider. I, I don't know that bird eater thing. I don't know what that technically is, but it looks like a spider. I guess we can get, like, a snail or something crazy. Mmm, oh god, oh yeah, the scorpions, yeah, they're higher rated though. Oh, look at that gold rated one. Oh god, what's that? Oh, that's like a cockroach? Ugh, that is disgusting. Okay, I'm gonna get this giant desert hairy scorpion. Really good fertility, really good longevity right there. We can get a male, we can get a female to, to tag along with it, so that'd be pretty good. Which one would I get? Oh man, both females are pretty trash though. I guess I'll just get the male, so let's put that right there. Let's look at his, uh, Zoopedia entry. And let's make sure he's good, so set that to maybe like 30 degrees Celsius and set that to like 28 or something like that. Uh, humidity, and he'd be fine, so 30 degrees Celsius, he'll be fine. They're going like 28%, oh, well, he's already fine right there. Yeah, look at that, he's already good on his humidity, maybe set it down like 27. There you go, just so it's a little bit more in the middle right there. And I think we're fine for these guys, guys. All I need to do now is just set the uh, education boards, and thankfully they like automatically set the, uh, the nearest critter to the top of the list, so it's super duper easy for us to set these here. And we're going to hopefully get a better uh, education rating, so that's going to be good. But remember, we are missing one more creature in the habitats in order to get the silver star. So if we go over here, yeah, look at that. Habitat, uh, have at least six habitat species in the zoo. We have five right now. I'm thinking about cutting this in half, 
placing down the snow leopard and then calling it a day we're going to hit silver level at that you guys so that's going to be good but I'm, I'm really liking this over here you guys our new expansion area over here with the ex uh, exhibits the bathrooms and even the shops over oh wait oh yeah in this alternate universe I didn't I guess I didn't place down the uh wait do we even have it unlocked we might uh I don't know I guess I'll have to check drink stalls street fox coffee yeah we have the milkshake place unlock yeah I guess oh gosh oh uh is that, oh, there you go. Okay, that, that's good right there. <laughs> Let's go over here to milkshake. So we, we got the, uh, there you go, the, the merch sign or whatever. Place that right there. Oh, place that right there. That's fine. And then place this street thing in the, in the street. I really don't know if that actually does anything, but at least it's kind of, like, cosmetically looks cool, right? <laughs> Get it, cosmetic and cosmic cow? <laughs> oh, man. Laugh at my jokes, please. <laughs> Anyways. Move this uh, ATM a little bit closer because I wanted to put that like at the edge of that so that way it's as close to the shops as possible. And I think we're good right now, you guys. Uh, who's complaining about what? Oh, Sylvia. Oh, yeah. We uh, because we have more exhibits, we might want to get a second keeper. Might want to just hire another uh, keeper to be a specific, just specifically, just to take care of the exhibits because we have literally double the exhibits now than we had like five minutes ago. So or like I don't know, twenty minutes ago, last episode, whatever it'd be by now. <laughs> So let's, uh, where am I going, staff? There it is, right there. Go to keeper, and let's put you, like, right here. Now that person's a keeper. Literally. <laughs> let's go over here and, uh, tend to exhibits and feed habitat. No, you're going to be only tending to exhibits, and that's all you're going to do. So that should be good. And we have this one random cosmic cow person right there, just not working for some strange reason. I really don't know why they just walk away like that, but... Yeah, look at this, we have another, uh, switcheroo going on right there, so that's awesome. Uh, vet research, research is complete. And for Siberian Tigers, so that's good. What's this over here? Low welfare, hungry. Oh gosh, what happened right there? Oh, hungry again? Yeah, call a keeper over there. Yeah, now we have two keepers, so they should be able to take care of uh, these guys a little bit more frequently, a little bit more uh, efficiently, I guess you could say. So that's cool. Uh, let's go back to staff over here. I kind of want to check up on anyone's training. Okay, so yeah. Anyone who's a one star, let's give you guys some training. Let's make sure everyone's at least three stars. That seems rather fair, I'd say. So there we go. Just because we have a pretty good amount. 1,400 people in the park right now, you guys. Holy heck, mechanic research is complete. What is it this time? Another drink shop right there. I did not mean for that guy to continue researching drink shops, but hey, I guess you can continue researching it then, right? Uh, Mexalente. I guess we can start researching Mexalente. So who's that? Kenny Buckner. You're going to be researching food shops. That way, uh, I'm like, right now, what do we have? Uh, yeah, we just unlocked a uh, pip shot juice right there. So that's cool. So if we uh, want another... Like shopping area, we could have Pip Shot Juice and then a Mexalente once he's done researching that, so that's going to be cool. Gila Monster's still hungry though. Call the keeper at. Why is this. Where is this keeper at? <laughs> where is this. Oh god! Oh, these people were wearing like weird hats. Oh my gosh. Cinematic orbit. Now zoom in on these guys with their weird like rhino hats. <laughs> oh man. I need, I need to get another shopping place. Is there a. I don't know if I can get the mechanic to do any more shopping research. I think we already have that. Yeah, souvenir shop. Yeah, we could only get just a memento and hats fantastic alongside the loony balloons that we already had by default. So that sucks. Uh, what else is over here? Yeah, the little welfare and all that. Oh, wait, are they complaining about the uh, the social or whatever in here? No, they're fine with the social. They're just hungry in here. I don't know why the why the keeper. Where is this keeper at? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, oh, no. Okay, they're fine right now. Oh, there's the keeper right there. Yeah, she kind of blended in right there. All right, well, yeah, seems like we're doing really well right now, you guys. Almost a quarter million dollars in the heckin' bank. That's really good. <laughs> oh, man. Kind of want to... Oh, yeah, let's check up on the other uh, guests. See what they're saying about the park. Uh, guests right there. Yeah, look at that. A lot of really good ratings right here, you guys. Uh, what is the one thing you're complaining about? Gopi Soda 25 is busy. I'll try somewhere else. Is it really, though? Oh, yeah, it is. Maybe we'll get, like, a second Gulpy Soda then. Now, who is this person in here working this... Two star, can I give you some training? I can, so there you go. Hopefully you're gonna be a little bit more efficient and be able to take care of that lion a little bit better, so that's good. Doll sheep has cleanliness thing, so, oh gosh, yeah, look at all that poop. It's literally highlighting the poop right now. <laughs> Let's call the other uh, keeper over here, and hopefully they're gonna clean up the area. So that's gonna be great, you guys, nice. Like I said earlier, I do want to get a uh, snow leopard over here, so I think I'm gonna pause the recording real quick, try and like, figure out the uh, a way to split it in half kind of like this that way the snow leopard's going to be happy so I, I feel like it's going to take a little bit of trial and error off camera but before we go let's actually figure out which snow leopard we're going to get so let's uh sort by oh i guess it was fine already 
Yeah, Timberwolf right there. Just, oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Snow. Oh, whoa, a really good one of gold. Oh, man, two. Two golds. Ooh, I kind of want to see. Hold on. Let's pause before they, like, expire or anything like that in two minutes. Let's go to Zoopedia. Let's see. Okay, oh, up to one male and up to one female. So we can't have two females or else they'll, like, fight for alpha status or whatever. So that sucks. But uh, I guess between the, the silver and the gold that are available on the market right now, I'm going to be getting the heckin' gold, you guys. So, yeah, let's definitely get her. Let's see. What are her... Really, yeah, 50% size. Really good fertility at 100%. And 67% longevity. 83% immunity. Oh, man. Um... I didn't think about this, you guys. Do I have to send exhibit animals? Can I even send exhibit animals through quarantine? Can I even do that? Is there an, even an odd... Like, if I select this beetle right here... Uh, it's... There's no, it, it just says send it to trick. Hold on, if I do move, can I even send it to quarantine? Where is quarantine? Oh, here it is, right here. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I was about to say, like, we got a bunch of exhibit animals, right? Oh man, I didn't even send the doll sheep. Man, probably getting comments. <laughs> probably getting comments saying, oh man, there was like five, five doll sheep that you got, you didn't even send them through quarantine. Man, I keep forgetting that. Ah, uh, they really need to, like, have, like, an option in the in the trade center, in animal storage, to, like, immediately send to quarantine. But I, I, we should be fine. I, I don't think it's really that big of a deal, but yeah. Especially with the snow leopard right here with really good immunity, 83%. I'm still going to adopt it. I'm adopting it right there. Uh, waiting in trade center. Yeah, there's no, like, quick option to send it to quarantine, so that sucks. But yeah, send it, well, send a zoo, and then from there you send it to quarantine, right? <laughs> but there you go. So it's uh, unpause right now, relocating to quarantine, but I'm going to be sending you through quarantine to make sure nothing comes into the park and infects any critters and whatnot. So, you know, can't be too safe. 83% or whatever immunity, still sending it to quarantine. But yeah, let me just pause real quick and uh, try and cut a little little path through the middle of this and uh, try and get like basically the same size as the Siberian tiger area right here. Basically get the same size as that. That way, because it seems like the snow leopard basically wants the same size. And then once we actually put the snow leopard in the habitat, we're going to have six species in the park. And we're finally going to get the silver star and we can move on to gold where looks like they're going to give us the, the polar bears. I've already gotten comments saying, hey, don't get the polar bears. They're going to give you free polar bears, similar to what they did with the Arctic wolves. So not going to do that. Yeah, it even says right there, adopt and place two Arctic wolves, adopt and place two polar bears. Basically the same thing right there, right? And then, of course, the polar bear thing, uh, you get the overall welfare to 90%. Research polar bear level five, or yeah, level five. Uh, research five habitat species to level three. I, I think we've done that already. <laughs> uh, release six of any habitat species to the wild. We'll just do that by default, just by releasing, uh, you know, bison and, and Arctic wolves and doll sheep, reindeer, and all that kind of stuff whenever they get really old and stuff. Uh, have at least eight habitat species in the zoo. So the polar bear is going to be number seven. We just have to get one more creature, which we're going. I guess we're going to put in the smaller version of uh, whatever this is going to be once I cut it in half, you know? Uh, and what else do we have to have here? Have at least 1,300. We have 1,420-something. So, we're, we're, once we come back and once we place down the, uh, the, the, the polar bear, we're probably going to be on the gold star. Like, we're on track to get the gold star really quickly, you guys. So, that's going to be really cool. But, like I said, going to pause real quick. And, uh, did he pass quarantine? Oh, no, it's a Mexican red knee tarantula. It's, uh, low, oh, it's low social. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, we have a, looks like they just made, wait, what, how do they mate if I have, only females. Unless the male died? That's kind of interesting. I did not know that. Maybe that was a thing. But yeah, I guess I'll just get rid of one of the, uh... Let me actually look at their Zoopedia entry and see what are they like here. One to five. Is that five? Or is that six right there? Eleven? Si oh, wait, what in the world? Oh yeah, we have five. Wait, what? We have five males and six females? When did that happen? Uh... <laughs> Um, that is kind of crazy. Yeah, no wonder they have a heckin' uh, crazy, like, uh, social rating or whatever right there. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of a ton of them right there, you guys. Definitely want to keep either exclusively just, you know, like, two females or five females or two males and five males or something like that. Uh, that way, it's not going to ever, like, go over the limit from them breeding and whatnot, you know. So definitely do want to keep an eye on them and release them to the wild. I keep forgetting about the exhibit creatures. They just, like, die in there and then, then I just find out that the exhibit's, like, empty and stuff like that. Yeah, I definitely want to keep an eye on their age and stuff like that. And make sure we release them to wild, send them to other zoos and all that kind of jazz. Definitely want to remember that before they get too old and literally die from old age. But yeah, like I said, going to pause real quick. Try and cut this in half over here. And then when we come back, we're going to get the silver star. So that's going to be awesome. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit.
All right, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, we we finally had a, a death here with the Arctic Wolves. And uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. Sikinik? I have no idea how to pronounce it, but 14 and a half years old. Died of old age. And let's call the vet over. I have it paused right now. Oh, God, are those flies or something? Ew. What in the world? Ew. Why did they add that as a bit of detail? Sheesh. Anyways, yeah. We can see uh, we found we finally have some vet research going on right now with the uh, the new exhibit animals. I had that going on while I was uh, kind of building stuff like that off camera there. And we have a level two for the boa constrictor right there, which is great. I did hire another vet, so now we've got a one star right there. I'm I'm currently you know training that person to uh, you know become a two star and stuff. I am making my vets and both my mechanic go up to four stars though, so that's pretty good. But uh, we also have research going on right now with the giant desert hair scorpion. The Lehman's Poison Frog, and as we saw right there, the Boa Constrictor. So, we're getting a little bit of research on them done, which is great. Nothing for the uh, Titan Beetle just yet. I might I might switch over Kathy Barkley over to the Titan Beetle, so we can get a little bit of research for them. Oh, did she just, like, do a little bit of a cry right there because of the heckin' wolf? I would, too. Anyways, as you can see, speaking of uh, wolves, I, I finally did add some stuff to their enclosure over here in terms of a... Uh, I, I didn't need to add anything over here for, like, nature and trees and all that kind of stuff. I didn't need to, but I did just for the aesthetics of it. So we have a little bit of trees and stuff. We have some bushes at the bottom of each tree. And then, of course, here in the middle, I, I, I decided to have a, an open area here for them to just kind of play around in, and added some rocks and, and even some bushes and stuff over here. Of course, I copy and pasted those from, like, over there <laughs> just to make it a little bit easier for me. But, of course, they're fine with it. They don't really care. And, of course, rocks, as we saw in the past. Didn't really affect anything in terms of the uh, the environment, so don't have to worry about that. And everything over here is completely fine with them, so that's good. All right. Oh, and uh, while I'm in the area, I did build, because I did get another vet, I did build another research area over here because they do need research places to actually do the research at, you know? <laughs> so I built another one over there, and uh, we're currently at 1,400 people in the park right now. Still above that 1,300 we need to get the gold star. But, uh, oh man, another vet research is complete. Is for the Lehman's Poison Frog. All right, nice. And what else do we have here? Oh, yeah, quarantine pass for the Snow Leopard. So, yeah, let's definitely grab the Snow Leopard. Transfer. Oh, and yeah, by the way, yeah. I, I, I did make the uh, the little path going through the middle here, like I said I was going to do. So, let's actually move you over here. There you go. And, of course, we have unclimbable, uh, whatever you call it, over here. Same thing over here. And I had to make another habitat gateway right there as well. Oh, I, if anything, the only thing I forgot to do was make this a staff path, which... I think, yeah, I think that's a little bit too short to make a staff pass, so I guess if anything, we're probably going to have people heckin' blocking that right there, but uh, I guess I can't really do anything about that. It's a little bit too short right there, unfortunately. <laughs> probably should have thought about that, but whatever. Anyways, as soon as the Snow Leopard arrives over here from the nearest caretaker, that's a draw. Oh, oh, there it is right there. Let's see. Can I uh, get a view? Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's like Forrest Gump or something. <laughs> Just take it back and crate over to the- Oh god, yeah, pushing them out of the way. Push, get them out of the way! Get them out of the way! You're preventing that and Snow Leopard from getting into the enclosure. What are you guys doing? Get out of the way! I know you're cold. Look at how happy she is. Oh my god. The Snow Leopard is going to die inside the box if-, if Literally, <laughs> two groups of people can't move. You kidding me? Oh my gosh. What if I get out of this? Oh my god, three groups of people now? Three groups of people can't move. This is- <laughs> I've never seen this. This must have happened a few times before and I just never saw it before. But there's actually three groups of people <laughs> who can't move because the second and this caretaker right here running into this group of people and then this group of people being pushed off to the side and then behind them all there's another group of people. What is happening? Can I like can I like kick these people out of the park or something? Yeah, here we go. I could fit I could actually just move them. Yeah, here we go. Get out of the way. There we go. God. Oh, I could actually pick up the whole group. Holy heck. I guess status carried around. <laughs> and here we have the snow leopard. Oh, yes. All these new species are making this quite the thriving zoo. And despite being so remote, people are visiting us from miles and miles around. And not just because they got lost while looking for a fjord. <laughs> Goodness. How do you do it? The targets I set you for expansion on research here was so high. I'm amazed you didn't get a crick in your neck looking at them. <laughs> Not that anyone would know, given how easy you made it look. Well, you clearly like a challenge, which is good, because the polar bears you're about to adopt are going to need more space than my wife when I forgot our anniversary. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 
Surprised our vets even have time to sit down with the amount of research they've been doing. They really are the geniuses of the genus. <laughs> nice little pun. Ah, in the years to come, I suspect the world's going to become a tough place for those released animals to survive in. But you've given them the best chance of doing so. I never would have thought that so many people would brave these temperatures to visit our little zoo. <laughs> and not that it's little anymore, thanks to you. This guy wearing t-shirt and heckin' short. Did he just pull that out of his butt? I think he did. <laughs> oh yeah, we, we still have the problem with the power over here. We, we don't have any power going on right now, so some of these education boards are unable to, to actually display the snow leopard, unfortunately, so... We're going to have to take care of that power problem here pretty soon. Oh, and by the way, off camera, I did do a decent amount of stuff off camera. Uh, I did actually get one of those water treatment things because I was looking through... What is this stuff? Oh, and, oh yeah, we must have just gotten the polar bears or something like that. I guess we just go take them into animal trading, so, or uh, animal storage, so boom. There are the polar bears that we just got gifted, as you guys commented about. So, yep, male and female. And what do they need, like 6,000 uh, square meters or something like that of space? So we have all this area over here freed up we could actually use for that, so that'd be really good. Once again, people complaining about the prices being under... I, I even raised them off camera. They're $15, now they're $17. $20 and $20, don't mind if I can do. And we're at almost $300,000 in the heckin' bank right now, you guys. Holy heck, look, look, look at this cash flow and stuff. Last year's profit, uh, 36000 This year's profit, 22000 And it's August. So we, we, may, we may get a little bit higher than that, especially because we just now raised... The, uh, the price right there, so that's good. Anyways, oh yeah, look at that, they fixed this thing. So we've got Lol Rickard, we got myself, Mr. Miola, and C.H. Gury there visiting the parks, that's cool. Anyways, uh, animal stressed and low welfare. Okay, yeah, definitely want to take care of that here, you guys. No one return items for these, uh, unfortunately. And we're going to have to get yet another... Let's go to the vets. Uh, oh god, oh, we have vet research. For the Titan Beetle, okay, so that's good. But uh, we're going to get yet another uh, vet to start researching this guy if we don't already have some research. Yeah, it doesn't have anything right there, so I guess we can stop researching the frog, which would be Jed Curie. You can stop researching that and start researching the snow leopard, but let's actually see. Oh, you guys might have actually known. Oh my god, barrier status is already 65%. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. The barrier was already damaged. I even showed you guys the barrier was already damaged and there was like nothing inside of it so i assume not only can the animals damage the barriers but the people can too look at this guy he's like oh man i'm gonna go punch that barrier watch this <laughs> anyways let's select this guy or gal or whatever why is that not actually selecting her it's still selecting the uh the barrier right there let me select you uh there you go let me look at your stuff so let's see yeah terrain you need some help heart shelter i did show this during uh bernard's little thing he was talking about uh, so it seems like we're good. We're at eight, 833 or 838 feet out of 700 or uh, meters squared out of 705 meters squared. So we're fine on that. We even have a little bit of leg room right there for expansion, you know, in case we get a second snow leopard. I did read you guys comments and I was even thinking about it while editing the video with the uh, Siberian tiger meme, how that number kind of like looked weird after a while after we got the second one and even got the baby. But yeah, I, I, I definitely do think that the number over here changes. Oh God, it's actually... Well, it's orange, but it's actually smaller. It says 692 out of 871. I assume the 871 is what I need to make it green, but I assume 692 is fine. Uh, I did also look at this here. Where would it be? Uh, I think it's habitat. Yeah, traversable area. As you can see, not everywhere over here is traversable, and even around the enrichment item areas, things, <laughs> it makes them not traversable. And even around, like, trees and stuff, not traversable even around the climbing thing over here in the middle not traversable so i feel like that might actually be like shrinking down the land area right there perhaps because i definitely do remember this being over 700 meters squared and it's, it's gone down even the shelter over here uh the like actual edges of it is are not traversable so that's really unfortunate yeah the place in the rocks there not traversable there but if we go over to where would it be shelter oh yeah i guess if anything yeah this does provide some hard shelter and even the climbing thing over here provides some hard shelter, so that's good. Habitat cleanliness. Yeah, just a little bit of poop right there. But speaking of habitat cleanliness, I actually was looking at all the animals. And uh, if we click on the bison. Oh, I don't think I actually need to clean on, click on them. But uh, this little pool of water over here was red. So that's why over here I placed down a water treatment thing. That way we can get 
the... Uh, I don't even know if it's going to show us. Oh, it, okay, yeah. So I, I place one down right there. That way it covers this little lake right there, a little pond right there, to actually treat the water, make sure it's nice and uh, nice and clean. So that's good. All right, it, definitely something I'm going to have to think about here in the future, especially with the polar bears once we add them. I'm going to have to... Because uh, I'm most likely going to have water for them as well, and I'm sure they actually want water. I think we read about it last time. Definitely want to have some uh, water treatment to make sure the water inside the actual habitats is good. So, anyways, let's see. Let's go over to... What would it be? Nature, I guess? Oh, wait, no. Habitat? Yeah. Habitat. Let's go over here. Let's go to species. Let's go down to snow leopard. And let's see if there's any, like, basic stuff we can give to the snow leopard. Seems like we might have some. Maybe even some climbable stuff. I don't think we... Yeah, we have some climbable stuff right now, which is good. But I don't think the snow leopard actually, like, specifically wants it. Yeah, nothing there for climbable area. But I may still add one, just because, hey, why not, right? But let's definitely add their food and their water. So, food tray large. Maybe I'll get a small. Because it is a snow leopard, I don't think I need a food tray large. So, uh, I'll probably get away with just a small right here. So, I I'll put that right here in the middle. Uh, or do I want to put it off to the side? Like here? Yeah, let's put it on this corner right here, you guys. So, we got a food tray right there. That's good. Put the water pipe close by as well. Put that right there. Nice. And let's get ourselves... Oh, yeah, I guess I could get some shelters, too. So, let's see. I'm probably... I, I think, what was it? Male and female, and that's it for population. So, I probably don't need that big of a uh, an area. I probably don't need, like, this. Although, I probably will get one of these, just because they want out, right? So, hmm. You know what? Yeah, let, let's place down one of these. Place it down, like, right here. Basically, the same spot that we put it for the Siberian Tiger. Actually, put that a little bit in the ground, too. Just because I like how that looks. And let's go back to habitat. Let's get ourselves some bedding. It's like not not extra large. Maybe mediums. Or maybe even larges. Yeah, let's get a large. Put a large there. Put a large right there. There we go. So we could only have two. And uh, we could have a baby. So I guess I guess I'll put a baby one right there just because why not? <laughs> but there we go. That's for the hard shelter. So that's going to be great. Let's actually check if that actually changed. If I'm going to unpause to see if that changed. Uh, let's unpause it. Okay, it's at 100%. Oh, God. Well... Just got boxed up right there, unfortunately. I have no idea why. Yeah, I got boxed up and immediately unboxed itself over there. So I guess it just teleported. <laughs> ah, but let's go over to uh, enrichment items. Here we go. Let's go over to all. Uh, let's go to food enrichment then. So we have a rotation line feeder. Ooh. Let's put one of these. Where should I put it? Let's put it on this side. That way we have people like traversing this bigger path over here, you know? So let's put their enrichment items here. So we can put this there. There's a pinata enrichment. Let's put that there. And we've got the frozen blood pumpkin. Let's put that, like, right there. That should be fine. And we have a mechanic in here researching, or, uh, repairing the thing over here. So that's good. Let's see if I can actually physically see the holes getting cut. What? Wait, what, ha what happened right there? I didn't click anything, did I? I might have. Hey, drink shops right there are done. Nice. Oh, yeah, I think the, uh, the mechanics finished researching all the, uh, food shops. So that's good. Yeah, look at all the food shops. We have Mexilente and Monsieur Fritz. So we have a fry place and a Mexican place right there. So that's cool. I also have uh, the, the mechanics researching staff facilities and drink shops right now, just because might as well have them doing something, right? And they're currently researching the large keeper hut, which should be pretty cool. And then the large staff room, which will be great. Large quarantine. Don't really need that right now, but of course, <laughs> I need to start using the one I actually already have, right? Golly. And what's all this stuff? Oh, man. Animal stressed. The welfare. Oh, yeah. So what do we have here? Why are these guys stressed? I'm like, it seems like they're fine. Uh, yeah, it seems like they're fine. It's going away right now, so that's good. Let me go to this guy, though. Let me see. Yeah, the social... Wait, does it need? Yeah, no, yeah, see, that's fine right now. Severe social welfare issues. So I guess I, I do have to get a, a... What is this one? Male, female? Okay, this is the female. I guess I do have to get a male, like, have to, even though I thought it was fine without one. Anyways, let's go over here. Let's go to Siberian Tiger and Reindeer. Yeah, we don't have a snow leopard on the market, so it goes for Timberwolf. The Siberian tiger, the reindeer. There's no snow leopard. There should be. There was one on the market, unfortunately. So yeah, that sucks. The Arctic wolves and stuff. I guess we'll have to come back here a little bit later. See if we can get a male snow leopard to go along with this one. But uh, and Richmond's doing pretty well at 50% right there. So it's a lot better than the zero it was just a moment ago. And this one does not like a ton of plant coverage. It's currently at zero right now. Seems like it maxes out at like maybe like 10, 15% right there. So don't want to get too much right there. Uh, we have plenty of food, uh, food, <laughs> species food enrichment, so we don't need to get any more of that. But we do need some toy enrichment, which I didn't even place down yet. So let's definitely get some of that block vites. Let's place these uh, here in the middle area. Blood scent marker thing. There you go. Cardboard box. You can play around with that fire hose ball. There you go. Gift box. 
And we're way over what we need. I'm just getting a ton of stuff here, you guys. Oh, you know what? Let's get that. Let's get the rubbing pad. Let's get that here. There you go. And scratching post. There you go. So those are all of its toys right there. Which ones am I going to get rid of, though? I, I think I'm going to get rid of the gift box. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of the blood scent marker thing, too. Just because, like, eh. Get rid of that. <laughs> and what else do we have here? What is this one? Fire hose ball. Yeah, you can keep that. Keep the other random box. Scratching post. Well, if we have a, uh... Well, this is a scratching post. If we have a scratching post, I'm going to get rid of either the rubbing pad or the scratching post. I don't want to have both of them. I think we're fine right now with that, though. So there we go. Let's check them on the enrichment now. And enrichment's 100% right there. So that's good. We have 400 out of 110 for toy and 45 out of 4 for uh, food enrichment. So we're, we're well over what we need for this guy. But of course, what we do need is also uh, animal stress. And yeah, it doesn't have a... Wait, no. Yeah, see, the social is fine. Space is fine. Just the stress is... Uh... Oh, hold on. Yeah. So the animal is trying to hide. Yeah. So that, that tells me that we're going to want the mechanics to research where would it be barriers yeah the one-way glass we're going to want them to research the one-way glass so yeah forget to forget the drink shops kenny we're going to be researching the barriers that way we can put some one-way glass maybe like right here that would be maybe like everywhere honestly just because i'm uh, hold on hold on does it say i know the one-way glass i think it's a little bit less resistant like resistance grade than the steel mesh but let's actually look at oh look at that it's pushing around the uh, the fire hose ball thing whatever that is <laughs> But I think we can go to the Zoopedia entry, and it'll tell us... Yeah, grade 2 climb proof, and greater than 3 meters. We're currently at... Uh, well, it's telling me meters right there, but... Uh, 3 meters is about 9 to 10 feet right there, so we're, we're good on that front. This is 10 feet tall, so we're, we're fine there. But, of course, resistance grade 2, that's actually relatively low. We're, we're currently at resistance grade 4 for the steel mesh. Uh, regular glass is resistance grade 2, so I assume one-way glass might be resistance grade 2 as well. So once we actually have that research, we can, in, in, uh, not import, but, like, replace basically everything here, like I said, with that one-way glass. That way the, uh, where is it at? The snow leopard? Yeah, here it is right here. That way the snow leopard is not going to be stressed, because it is getting stressed right now. It's seeing all the people, uh, looking at him, and he's getting, like, really, really nervous and, and stressed out about it. And, of course, that's something we learned during the, uh, oh, God, Transformers failing. It's something we actually learned during the tutorial phase of the, like, straight-up Planet Zoo regular main series, so... If I want to keep that in mind, guys. Anyway, it's vet research. And a snow leopard right there. Nice. We don't really need anything right now for the snow leopard. So we're, we're fine. I don't know if it actually tells us any uh, any fun facts about the snow leopard. When we don't have, like... Oh, yeah, well, we have one thing. Oh, it's telling us everything. What in the world? Oh, it might be telling us everything for the snow leopard. Because we've already researched it fully in previous scenarios. So I guess I could just... Read off these fun facts while we're waiting for the, uh, the mechanics to research the... Uh, the one-way glass. It has to it has to research the other thing first though. Before it actually researches the one-way glass. What was it that has to research? Yeah, the electric barriers. It's currently about maybe like, I don't know, a quarter way through, maybe a fifth of the way through right there. So it is gonna take a little while, unfortunately, so that kinda sucks. But yeah, the transformer's hopefully getting repaired right now. Oh! Hold on, we have an inspector in the in the thing right now. Oh, let's actually rename this to uh Snow Leopard. There you go, Snow Leopard. And let's actually see what the Inspector is saying about stuff. Yeah, four st or five stars for everything. Hasn't gone to the Snow Leopard yet. Haven't hasn't gone to the Arctic Wolves just yet. Uh, oh yeah, and then by the way, off camera, I did uh, release some reindeer that were fighting for alpha status. I think I released one Arctic Wolf. No, I didn't release. Yeah, I didn't release any Arctic Wolves because the ones that we uh, that I would have released, I can't release them because they were gifted. Uh, similar to the reindeer that were gifted. Similar to the uh, polar bears that we just got gifted as well. Don't want them to stay in uh, animal storage for too long, because I did get some comments from you guys saying, yeah, once uh, when you have creatures in animal storage, they'll still age and stuff like that. But I assume, oh, look at that big snowball that's pushing around. But I assume the, the polar bears are completely fine, because they'll, they'll live for like, like ages or something like that, right? And I don't think we have to worry about them too much. Anyways, uh, oh yeah, I was reading the fun facts. So let's go back to Zoopedia. Is this the uh, snow leopard? Okay, it is. All right, fun fact number one, snow leopards have very large paws in proportion to their body size that allow them to move quickly and stealthily along the snow. Fun fact number two, the snow leopard can jump higher and further than any other cat species, reaching heights of 20 feet when jumping and distances of 50 feet when pouncing. Ooh. Fun fact number three, snow leopards can live at altitudes of 18,000 feet. Holy heck. Fun fact number four, snow leopards are crepuscular? Animals, they are active at dawn and dusk. Okay, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. 
And fun fact number five, snow leopards will often hold their own tail in their mouth to use as a muffler against the wind and snow. Huh, I wonder if we could see that. There's so many fun facts similar to that and similar to the reindeer with like the antlers and stuff after it like goes away after they're, they give birth and all that kind of stuff. So many small details. I wonder if they even implemented it into the actual game. Look at how thick its tail is in proportion to its body. Holy egg. <laughs> and speaking of uh, its body, yeah, the paws are relatively big. Look at that. Let me actually go to the orbital cam. Oh, like we've got the, uh, the, the the tall grass there. You can't really see it too well, but yeah, it's got some pretty heckin' big paws there, you guys. Holy heck. Oh, yeah, let's actually look at the animal training. Do we have any, uh, any snow leopards on the market now? We do. Male right there. Another male right here. Which one do I want to get? Low longevity or low small size? I think I'm going to get this one right here. Smaller size. But this one, oh, they have the same rating, though. This one's younger, though. Young, younger, but it has worse longevity. Uh, I'm like the snow leopards from what I've experienced don't even last that long anyways. Let's get, uh, let's get this one right here. The smaller size. I think I'm going to be completely fine. So let's adopt it. Send a zoo and send it straight to quarantine. You guys don't want to, don't want to forget that little bit of detail right there. Jeez. 